Do you know that you can now turn your 12 megapixel photos and turn them into 48 megapixel photos? I'm going to show you how. What is up guys, Nico here and welcome back to the channel. And for today, I'm going to show you how you can turn, you know, photos that were taken from let's say the A7S III or similar cameras that have a 12 megapixel sensor and turn them into a 48 megapixel photo in Photoshop with the new feature called Super Resolution. Yes, so Photoshop just came out with this feature and it opened, you know, possibilities for people like me to be able to go on professional photo shoots because you know for social media for most of you know maybe photo shoots that will be used on websites on social media accounts 12 megapixels is more than enough but if you you know are going on a shoot and the shoot or the photos that will be used are intended to be printed then maybe 12 megapixels may not work for that shoot but now with this feature i think it will be possible because you know your 12 megapixel photos will become a 48 megapixel photo so let's get into it all right, so before I show you how to access the super resolution feature of Photoshop, you need to know how to open your image in Camera Raw. Now, the first method that I will show you is by opening it um, manually through the menu system. So it's clicking File and then choose Open As. So take note, you need to choose Open As and not just Open. All right, so choose Open As and then choose your JPEG. And then here in the drop-down um, format, choose Camera Raw, okay? So choose your JPEG, choose Camera Raw, click Open. Just wait for it to open. That's how you open a, uh, normally JPEGs in Camera Raw. Now, the other method, of course, is by opening it by dragging a raw photo onto Photoshop. So here is a raw photo. I'm going to drag it in Photoshop and just wait for Camera Raw to open. There you go. Now, once your photo is open, you could already edit in Camera Raw. If you are using Lightroom, then you will find that these sliders are familiar. So you can apply edits already here before you know enhancing it before applying the super resolution but you could also apply the super resolution first then edit later on that is up to you for this video i will just you know click auto there you go so it auto edited my photo and to access a uh, super resolution you right click on the image choose enhance so this is the enhance feature of uh, Photoshop so here you could uh, see the preview now make sure before clicking enhance you check super resolution so as you can see here it says doubles image resolution ideal for large displays and prints now when you click enhance camera raw will create another image so it won't apply the changes to your original image. Your original image will stay intact. So it will create a new image. Here we go. This is a DNG raw file, I believe. And now let's open this. Okay, let's open them both, the original and the new file in Photoshop so that we could see if it really, you know, was enhanced to a super resolution image. So now, um, this is the original file. Let's check it. 4240 by 2832, which is 12 megapixels. 
and this is the enhanced photo as you can see there's you can't see much difference but when you check the image size it's 8480 by 5664 which is a 48 megapixel resolution photo so for you know people like me who have a video centric camera like the a7s3 and we want to you know take high resolution photos then i think photoshop just gave us a huge gift now we could produce 48 megapixels megapixel photos through photoshop's super resolution and if we zoom in you know as you can see the quality is I think almost the same but if you are going to, de to deal with you know printing your images then of course this enhanced um, file would look better once you print it out because this has a higher resolution than your original print all right so as you see that's how easy it is to turn your 12 megapixel photos into 48 megapixel photos and you know take note if you have a camera that has a 24 megapixel sensor like you know i used to have my a6400 that shoots 24 megapixel photos then if i use the super resolution on it it will become a 96 megapixel photo so I think this is a game changer. As you can see, quality stays the same or even, you know, sharpens a little bit. But now that same photo has a higher resolution, which allows you to print, you know, those photos and there will be no, you know, pixelization when you print those photos. So tell me what you think about this new feature from Photoshop. Are you going to use this in your professional workflow? Tell me in the comment section down below. And if you are still here watching, thank you for your support for the channel. If you like this video, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button. Also, if you like the content in this channel, I would highly suggest that you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you get notified when we upload new videos. Also, like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you in the next video. See ya!